So we're, uh, we're a food trailer here in Waco. We got started in January of 2017 after I moved here with my family from Austin. I was the chef at Lambert's and I uh, quit there to come here and kind of open, open my own place, do my own thing. Since then, we've opened three other trailers, so we have four total. Three of them do, you know, guest family barbecue or sandwiches, and then one is called Coco Ramen. I spent 15 years in Austin from 2000 to 2015. I watched that city really explode. The same sort of vibe that was in Austin 15 years ago is here now. It's a lot of people either returning that grew up here or it's a ton of people that are graduating from Baylor and not leaving. You know, Chip and Joanna and, and their amazing success has, has surely changed the town and surely brought a ton of growth. So we're opening up three blocks from our current location where our trailer is. Uh, it's at 6th and Columbus, between Columbus and Washington. It's right across from the courthouse in Waco, which is great. Uh, there's a huge farmer's market right across the street every Saturday. So it's really a busy, busy part of town. It's, it's what Waco deserves for, for a barbecue spot. You know, having kind of spent a lot of time, at least in my opinion, without, without a really solid barbecue uh, spot. It's going to be great for, for the people of Waco. My passion uh, for barbecue is uh, you know, something I knew I had. I grew up doing it, definitely tried to get away from it, ended up in culinary school and, and going that whole like fine dining route. By no means is barbecue easier than fine dining at all. In fact, it, you know, physically it's way harder. Everything is heavier and dirtier. And then when that was sort of done and I felt like I had done what I needed to do in that sort of you know fine dining restaurant type place, barbecue was just there calling me again and I felt I needed to put a barbecue place here. Now that we've built it up big enough you know that I have a pit master and a, a chef and, and stuff like that on the payroll that I actually get to you know to build pits. Uh, so this pit is the first one I'm building for someone else, um, a guy here in town, because he wanted something that was different than what anyone else could get. For me, what's special about it is the first one um, that I've ever built completely by myself. This has been uh, not a nightmare, but it's been a real eye-opening experience for, as far as com being completely on my own. You know, I'm really excited about what's going to happen here and even more excited that I kind of got in at the beginning and, and, you know, all I can hope for is to have some sort of positive influence on what happens, you know, what happens to Waco and what happens to the food, food scene here. Mm -hmm.